I have three questions related to the results of the diversity visa lottery. All these questions, I'm going to answer them right now. Question number one is, when is the day where the results of the diversity visa lottery, the V2023, be out? That's question number one. Question number two is, how many times can I check the results? Or should you check the results on the first day only, which I'm going to say, or I can check many times? And if I check many times, will the result change? I mean, it's one question, but so many questions on that. You know what I mean, right? Yes. And the last question is, is there a second selection on the diversity visa lottery? Should we start with number one right away? Yeah, I know you have already subscribed, so let's go. Forget about it. subscribe. I know you have you are subscribed already. So, the results for the diversity visa lottery DV 2023 will be out. Guess when? Six months from today. Or after the end of application. The end of application is November 9th, Tuesday. The results will be out on Saturday, May 7th, 2022. That is when the results will be out. May 7th, on Saturday, May 2022, May 7th, Saturday, at noon, Eastern Standard Time. Just like the time you went to check the result, to apply, to start applying, when they open, at the same time, at noon, that is when they are going to open people to check the results. So, you have the option to check the results on that day. You have the option to check the results the next day. You have the option to check the results next month, whatever you want. So, it doesn't mean that you have to check only on that day. Why am I saying this way? Because so many people, after applying the DV lottery, after a few hours, they all have the confirmation number. They want to go and check the results right now. No. If you put your confirmation number right now, it will tell you it is incorrect confirmation number. Because the lottery hasn't been randomly selected and results to be out yet. Results will be out on May 7th. Saturday at noon, 2022. Noon of Eastern Standard Time. Noon of New York, of East Coast. So don't try to check the results now. Don't check the results in December. Wait until May. So whether you check on the first day, second day, next month, there is no problem. How many times can you check the results? As many times as you can. But... The good news or bad news is the results will never change. If they say your end has been selected, you are the winner, you are the winner. If they say your end will not be selected, has not been selected, it's over. Even if you come next day or you check another two hours later, you haven't won. Results don't change. So don't try to check over and over. And some people want to know why they say you have to continue to keep the confirmation number until September then? If the results are out and you haven't won, why should I keep that one? Yeah, you don't need to keep it because when they say to keep the confirmation number until September is the end of that fiscal year. So the V2023, you can check the results until September uh, 30th, 2023. The V2022, they will be able to check the results until September 30th, 2022. The V2021, the results was over to check them by September 30th, 2021. So if you are the applicant of the V2021, if you check now, it is incorrect confirmation number. So it's just the fiscal year, that's all. But it doesn't mean that keep it, you can come again, you will do the second selection. When they select the winners, already have selected more people already. The V2021 selected over 133,000 winners.
the V22 have been selected over 119,000. So why should they have another second selection? For what? To have 200,000? While the visas are going to be issued is the 55,000 visas? So if you check the results you haven't won, go on with your life, look for other opportunities and get ready to apply for the next or the upcoming DV lottery. You haven't won. So that is about the process to check the results. You have to have your confirmation number. And if you have lost the confirmation number, you have to wait until the time to check the results, until May 7th and beyond. You can go like you are trying to check the results and say, forgot confirmation number, you'll be able to retrieve. By making sure that you put the correct spelling of your first, middle, and last name, to put your year, date of birth date, month, and year, and also you are going to put the email address, the correct email address you used to apply, and you can be able to retrieve it. So don't lose the confirmation, but if you lose, you'll be able to get it when the results are out. You cannot be able to do now. So don't try to apply for the second time because you try to check the result and they say it's incorrect confirmation number. So don't apply again to get the correct confirmation number, no. Because you are trying to check the results now, the results are not now. So that is something you need to see. And then, uh, apart from that, you have to make sure that uh, when you check the results, check once. If you want to check it the second time, that's enough. If you have won, continue with your life. If you haven't, continue with your life. And if you have won the DV lottery, the first thing you need to know is the case number. What is the number to see? Is it a high case number or small case number? To be able to figure out when possible, you'll be able to be interviewed. And for the people who have checked the results and found out they are the winners, let's say the V222 or the V223, you are allowed to apply for the following DV lottery as long as you haven't been given the visa. So, for instance, you are the V222 winner. Whether because you haven't been to the interview, you can apply for the lottery again. I know some people who have applied and won the, this year and the other year they won again. So, you can be able to do that. Which I advise you to do that. Don't feel sorry that because you have won, if I apply again, I'm going to take someone's chance. You will not do the interview if you have won and you have already got the, in, the, the, the visa already. So that is something you need to know and that will be the important for you to be aware of.